I'm in this current uh, imposed niceness battle with professional therapists. They're trying to impose niceness. And one trap that I just recognized, which might be useful to others, is that they present this uh, argument that people should control their reactions. So if you feel aggression, that's a sign that you need to look inward and work on yourself. Okay. Doesn't that sound fairly disarming and high-minded? But I'm going to point out how that doesn't make any sense, because aggression means to step forward. Stepping forward means it's an external action. That's why you need aggression to defend an outer boundary. If they're telling you to direct your aggression inward to work on yourself, that's translated to say you should hate yourself. You're directing your aggression inward towards yourself. They're promoting shame and self-hate in this coded language of saying, Oh, why are you triggered? <laughs> What's wrong with you? So whenever you call out their fuck-ups or you say, Oh, I sense there's something wrong here. I sense something unfair. They say, Oh, looks like you're triggered. You should work on yourself. It's a very common, easy turnaround that therapists use and most people in self-help use. That is encouraging you to attack yourself with shame. They're adding moral judgment on you, the target, to create self-hate. And it's more of a mindfuck with this group is because this group is supposed to be actively using hate to dialogue and talk it out. <laughs> the more you can talk out your hate, the more you can, you can be less people-pleasing. Because if you talk out your boundaries, you feel energy. If you suffocate yourself, you feel resentment. That was sort of talked about earlier, right? People have a murderous rage. That's because you're suffocating your voice. You need an outlet to express your voice. <laughs>